hey guys welcome back now in the last video i said i will do another example where i will do a quadratic inequality where we'll have the sign less than zero so here it is again first things first we'll solve this like we would solve any other quadratic equation minus 5x can be broken down and rewritten as minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 is less than zero so x times x minus 3 here I can factor out minus 2 x minus 3 both the brackets are same so we're doing perfectly all right x minus 2 times x minus 3 is less than 0 so remember as I said we'll treat this initially like we would treat any other quadratic uh, equation with an equal to sign equal to 0 x equals to 2 or x equals to 3 now Let's, talk, let's draw the x-axis and the y-axis. Here we have a quadratic curve that is cutting at x equals to 2 or x equals to 3. Here's the x-axis. Now let's go back to the color blue because we want, as I said previously, that I want you to think of the x-axis as the surface of water. But over here, if you notice let me switch to another color I'll go with red over here if you notice we want the part of since it's less than zero so that means we want the part of the curve that is lying below the surface of the water so that means what I'm basically talking about here is this part of the curve this part of the curve yes now you can notice that this part of the curve is lying between two and three so that means I will only obtain this part of the curve for as long as x is greater than two or it's less than three yep it's that simple so this is how you solve a quadratic inequality with with the sign less than zero if you like this video please subscribe to my channel in the coming videos I will be doing more and more examples and a few common errors to watch out for thank you and happy learning